just want to photo and it. Just a quick mount, you know, to put a big frame. It's a real easy thing to do. Um, basic things you need to have. You know, awesome picture, some foam cord, roller really helps in getting the bubbles out, and some photo mounts for adhesive of some sort, and uh, some Velcro strips. I'll show you those here in a minute, but we'll get to there. So first things you got to do is make sure you got a nice, clean, dust-free area, um, dust-free here, dust-free on the back, and then we're going to spray the picture with some spray adhesive. Be right back. All right. So once you've done your whole spray your adhesive onto your uh, foam board. I didn't obviously video that because it's literally spraying a piece of onto a foam board. Y'all can figure that out pretty easy. Then you want to make sure, I like to wear the gloves because I don't like oily fingers. Double check that I don't have anything on my picture that's going to cause a bump. If I do, a lot of times I'll just spray it off or, you know, make sure I don't have any bits of dust in there. Um, and then, Layer on there gently. Usually start from one side to the other. Try not to touch the adhesive with your fingers because then you're going to move the adhesive onto your picture. It's going to go well for you. And then I really like having this roller again. I'm going to put it off quick, make sure I have like dust on it. And then it's really gentle. You're just going across it to make sure you don't get any bubbles. You've got it nice and smooth. It takes a minute. Just got to be patient with it. Make sure it's nice and smooth on there. Maybe go the other direction. You really don't want to get any twist in this while you're on there because that's going to cause your picture to get a little water in it. You can do it without the roller, um, but the rollers are cheap. I found they're kind of really handy. Um, and there you go. Got to give it a couple minutes to finish setting up. Um, and once you do, once it is set up, you just go along, cut the edges. And then I like these black command strips. Um, I also make sure I get the black foam cord that is black all the way around. So when I cut it, it's a black edge. And then a couple of these on a couple of corners. Makes it really easy to put up, be able to change your art when you want, no damage to the wall, and this keeps it nice and flat. Um, yeah, so next time you guys see an awesome picture out there, you're like, oh, I want that on my wall. You don't have to buy it frame. You don't have to get a frame. You can just put it up. It's pretty cheap, pretty easy. Finally, once you get everything cut down, whether you use an X-Acto blade, a mat knife, a whatever blade you got handy that's thin, and a straight edge, cut all the edges down, just take your command strips, stick a couple of them together, peel off the back, Slide it on the back. It doesn't matter if it's perfect because you're not going to see it. And then you have your command strips on the back. When you're ready to hang it up, you just pull those off. Make sure you get it all nice and straight on the wall and stuff. And stick her up there, give it a little bit of pressure, and she's good. And there you go. That's a quick and easy way to hang up a uh, pretty picture.